What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be showing you how we like to stop the run from the 46 normal formation. And this is kind of a very risky run defense, which is why our base play is the cover three, which is kind of a more balanced. So if you're in a situation where uh, they could run or pass, you might want to stick with that inverted cover two that I showed last video. Uh, but if you are also in a situation where it's a must stop kind of thing, uh, then you might go with this play that we're going to be showing you today. So the play that we're going to be talking about today is the 46 normal, uh, and the play is the rush outside. Okay, And the setups are fairly simple. What we want to do is we want to base a line. We want to show blitz. We want to spread our defensive line. And now we have a couple of options. One of the things that I really like to do is I like to drop both of these linebackers uh, in flat zones so they'll kind of span to the outside. I like to pass commit as well. Um, you could do that if you want. If you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. Um, and then I'm going to hold R2, our right trigger, and I'm going to stand with Jenkins kind of right in this area. And pretty much here, no matter where they go, I've, I'm going to have a lot of guys in the backfield. And that's kind of the idea is that we're going to just try to really blow it up. Um, Another thing that you uh, want to do maybe uh, potentially here is maybe crash your defensive line to the right because the 46 normal and your user player is going to be on the right. So you have see how we have five guys to the right and four guys to the left. So you, you kind of want to crash in the light so, so that they play a little bit better to the left. Uh, but watch what happens here on the right side. You see that we, we hold that edge pretty strong. Um, Darren Sproles actually did a really nice job there of getting to the outside. Um, and that's kind of the only only thing with this defense is the only problem that I potentially see is that it's so extreme and it's so uh, in your face that potentially you might be able to break a long one. But it is a very good in terms of a lockdown in the backfield type run defense. Um, the stretch is probably the runs that do the best against it. Um, from what I've seen is that those long stretch runs do really good. Another thing that you could potentially do here is instead of putting this linebackers in flat zones, you may potentially put them in hook zones. Um, because for whatever reason in this year's game, the hook zones kind of fill the gaps really well. And um, you see how, again, we're trying to kind of muddy it up. Um, the idea here as well is if you're... Uh, the reason that I was saying to put them on the flat zones is so that they can shit, they can um, excuse me set the edge on the outside while I'm trying to run through the middle here. As you see here, they they set the edge really well that time, and uh, we get the tackle. But part of showing blitz, they kind of are forcing their way into the backfield. So we'll talk about something that you can do in case. But this is what this is really good for though is when they run. Um, if I have a play here. We'll just show you out of this uh, formation. But basically, they're going to try to run the ball right down the middle. And um, when they run the ball right down the middle, this defense does a really nice job at really just blowing it up. So it's really good for like inside zones and stuff. Now, if you're wanting to talk more of an outside run, you're expecting more of an outside run, you may just spread your defensive line and spread your linebackers. You do the same thing with Jenkins and the same thing with both linebackers. You're just not going to show blitz this time. And now we should have a little bit better outside run support. As you see, a little bit better outside run support. Uh, Kenny Vaccaro really set the edge very nicely there. Um, and so that's kind of the that's kind of the catch-22 that run defense is this year. You can't really stop inside and outside with the same play. Uh, but you can stop it out of the same play with different adjustments. And, uh, you know, so if I'm expecting him to run, want to run to the inside here, uh, then I would want to show blitz, but if I'm expecting him to want to run uh, to the outside, I may just want to sit in this cover three. You see how those flat zones get out a little bit better and set the edge really nicely. Um, another thing you might consider doing is blitzing all your linebackers down. And again, this is this is intense run defense. This is kind of do or die run defense. And you see how, but again, it's, it's an all or nothing scenario. If you don't get him in the backfield, he might score a touchdown uh, with this one, which is why uh, let me show you what we showed you yesterday, but basically this inverted cover two, bringing the safety down and and, and um, using him right in about here, pass committing, and then setting the edge with your user player is it's a, it's a little bit better overall uh, because you have better pass coverage in case they do pass. Um, another thing you have when you use this run defense is the ability to kind of rely on your personal uh, skill. If you can get out and set the edge, it's going to be really good. If you and if you can't, then you know it, it may not be as good. 
But the thing about this run defense right here, this rush outside, is is that you get in there, and you, it, it really is if you can if you can kind of steer your your guy uh, instead of just holding down R two, kind of steering towards the ball. Uh, you'll see here this is a very really fairly good run defense. Again, you want to stand over the center, and here I'm gonna snap the ball, and I'm gonna kind of steer my guy out there, and it, that time we got dotted, but. You saw last play, we, we stopped it in the backfield, and that's why I'm kind of saying this is kind of a, a very risky run defense. Um, but I think that it does have uh, some potential, uh, especially if, if I get the right adjustments in here. Let me see here. I'll grab Jenkins. Here's him in the A gap. And to kind of set the edge there. But um, anyway, guys, especially when you spread your line and and spread your linebackers. Um, that's really good for the inside run because then you're just going to try to use it yourself, and you're just they, they'll set the edge better. Um, so let me go over that one more time. So when they're running to the outside, a little slower. Uh, you want to take both these inside linebackers right here. You want to put them in flats. You want to base a line. You want to spread your defensive line, and you want to pass commit. And you'll see they should set the edge really effectively. You see how Kenny Vaccaro gets to the outside, kind of sets that edge. And if I'm user in the safety, you know, we can blow that up or whatever. And then we'll take a look at that to the left side real quick. So same setup. We're going to take both inside linebackers, put them on flat zones. We're going to spread our line, spread our defensive linebackers, pass commit. And then we're just going to hold R2 with Jenkins, kind of steer him towards the ball, kind of get up there and muddy it up in ourselves. Okay, and then what about the inside run defense? So if they're going to potentially run to the inside, um, we're going to want to go check down into our show blitz. So what we're going to do if they want to run inside is we're going to base a line. We're going to show blitz. And now in this situation, I really don't like this matchup with Colson, nobody guarding him. So I'm going to throw a purple zone over there. Uh, but that's just something that you'll get used to. And then I'm just going to turbo up the A-gap and try to steer my guy toward the ball. And you see how that there's always a plus one advantage because they, they don't have the advantage in the numbers game. And so basically what we're doing at the 46 is we're playing that numbers game mentality. Now let me show you against one of those shotgun uh, halfback base runs what we want to do. And, and basically that's the same. The halfback base is the same kind of run defense that we would want to do against something like the halfback stretch. So we're just going to show you just standard halfback base. And of course, I called the wrong play. I accidentally called the cover three because I haven't set my audibles up for this yet. Um, but let's hop back in here. Rush outside. Half back base. And uh, what we want to do again is we want to base a line, take both linebackers, put them in a flat zone, pass commit, spread our line, spread our linebackers, bring Jenkins down here. Now, in this situation, uh, if there's not a run, I know I immediately have Kenny Stills. He's kind of my assignment. Um, if you, Since they can't really run to the left, you could potentially just put Lofton on Kenny Stills. And, and, and it, it'll work just fine. And again, another thing you could do, since they really can't run to the left side, is drop Harrelson into a zone. But that's just some extra stuff you could do to improve the coverage. But as far as run defense, you see, uh, it's going to do... That's just really a bad example. But you see, you see I'm in the backfield, and there's not a whole lot more you can ask from uh, a run defense is to be in position. You just got to make a tackle, and it's it's difficult to practice mode to do that. And um, But no excuses. But uh, definitely want to have this R2 thing, and he's gonna, just going to come up, use of the A-gap, and you see how Kenny Vaccaro is going to set the edge on the outside. And he only does that if you pass command. That's why pass commanding in this year's game uh, is very effective against the run, because with the pass command, they're forced to now... Uh, run inside up the middle and not very many people want to do that they want to run those outside halfback base runs uh, like this one and try to get big gains but uh, anyway guys um, this is just a, another tactic that you can use uh, I'm trying to give you as much uh, information about stopping the run as I can because I know a lot of you guys are struggling with that um, but um, one of the main things that is really effective is turbo uh, holding R2 with that guy if you want to play an all-or-nothing run defense um, the 4-6 the normal rush outside is probably the best way to go. So that's our video for today. Uh, be sure to check out the rest of the content coming soon. Thanks, guys.